we're given y equals f of x equals negative 3x minus 5. In part a, we're asked to find the inverse of f. We will do that by switching the x and the y, and that will look like x equals negative 3y minus 5. Now remember at this point then we solve for y. We'll add 5 to both sides and we'll have x plus 5 equals negative 3y. We'll then divide both sides by negative 3. We'll switch this around. Now if I divide by negative 3 that's the same as multiplying by negative 1 -third. So I can simplify it like this. And then finally, y then becomes the f inverse. So we can write our inverse function as so. In part b, we're asked to graph f and f inverse on the same coordinate plane. I've already graphed f, and I graphed it recognizing that it is a linear function. So we have an x, a y-intercept of negative 5 and a slope of negative 3. So I'll go up 3, left 1, up 3, left 1, or down 3, right 1 to find points on that line. Now to graph the inverse, we could graph this linear function, or we could just take the points from the original function and switch the coordinates around. So for example, this point, negative 5, 0, excuse me, 0, negative 5, would become negative 5, 0 for the inverse. This point, negative 1, negative 2, becomes negative 2, negative 1 on the inverse. This point, negative 2, 1, becomes 1, negative 2. We'll do a few more. This point, negative 3, 4, becomes 4, negative 3. And we have enough points now where we can draw the inverse using a straight edge. Here is our inverse. And one thing to note, if I draw in the line y equals x, that those two graphs are symmetric about the line y equals x. Remember this is f, this is f inverse, this is y equals x.